everyone. As you can see, we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. I got a little behind on the Black Series unboxing, so we've got a lot coming up on the channel, so you won't want to miss that. But today, as you can see, we have the client from Star Wars The Mandalorian. I'm really looking forward to this, uh, not only for the figure, but for that little guy up there, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the outside of the box like we always do, uh, and then we'll unbox it, take some pictures, come back, talk about some of the things that we liked and or disliked about the figure. So, uh, as you can see, it looks like uh, we do have uh, some accessories, obviously, uh, which is one of the main draws for this figure. Uh, as you can see, we've got the, uh, the mural print there, and then on the back is number 20 in the Mandalorian line. I can't believe they made so many. Well, I guess I kind of can, but anyways. Uh, so we've got a mysterious Imperial who keeps a low profile in a safe house on Navarro. The client is the face behind an otherwise faceless bounty, an off-the-record assignment with a high value. All right, and then continuing that on. So let's go ahead and unbox them. And what we do is we typically go from the bottom. It's the easiest way, and it preserves the box as well. If you have any questions while we're going through this, please feel free to ask down below. And if you're liking the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to do so. All right, so I wish they would not include this, but oh well. Um, these are, so, oh, so, okay, I was wondering. So basically this is like a stack, okay. That makes more sense. I thought it was just, I was like, this doesn't make any sense why there's, it shouldn't be that big, but that, that makes more sense now. And then I have the beacon here. That guy. And we got Herzog. All right, let's go ahead and get everything cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, as you can see, we do have the Camtano or ice cream maker. Uh, this is one of the things that I was most looking forward to uh, with this uh, <laughs> with this figure. Uh, I think this is the first time that you've been able to get this in the Black Series. As you can see, uh, we do have the lid and a place for uh, to for them to hold on to. The top comes off, and you kind of have to push from the inside to open it up. As you can see, just like that. And then if you want to make it more authentic, you can do it just like that right there. I think this is super cool. And then uh, we have the, the best car as well. I really wish these would have been individually stacked um, instead of it being like two solid stacks. Uh, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? We've got some, some of the ingots other places as well from some of the other Black Series uh, where they were individual in a maybe we'll kind of mix and match them uh, but these guys will go inside of here obviously as long as we can get them all to fit <laughs> it's kind of a tight fit there we go um, and then we've got the tracker go ahead and get that a little bit closer hopefully you'll be able to see that uh, it's a decent looking tracker so I'm not, no complaints on that and then uh, the client or Herzog's figure here um, head all the way down head all the way up it's a decent likeness. I uh, got some good head tilts, which is something I always look for, especially with these figures. Um, you got the back of his head right there. The, the jacket looks pretty good, actually. I was a little worried at first. Uh, that's what you're gonna get for the arms, so you're gonna get the articulation that you want. No movement at the, um, at the shoulder, except for the, the typical there. We're gonna get about 90, which is good, and that's where we're gonna get the twist at the elbow. This is going to be a left-right. It's about the same articulation on that arm. And this is an up-down, not a left-right. Awesome. Okay, and then jacket might be able to come off along with the metal. I'm not going to do that. It's, I don't know. and I don't like the paint that they used on that, but oh well. Uh, we've got uh, some good movement at the the waist there uh, and then we've got typical movement every place else Ooh, that knee is loose if your knee is that loose on here let me know I'm, I'm really curious everything is loose on this leg this is about normal hmm, interesting all right so that's the figure uh, let's go ahead and take some pictures come back talk about some of the things that I like and or dislike about the figure
All right, so I think that was a good look at the figure. Um, I mean, overall, the figure itself is okay. Uh, I have a little bit of a problem with the, the leg there. I might have to do some mods to get that to stiffen up a, uh, stiffen up a little bit. Uh, I think the star of the show, though, is obviously the Camtano uh, or Ice Cream Maker. Uh, if you don't know the story behind that, quick Google. It's, it's pretty easy. Anyways, um, and then uh, we've got the Beskar as well. Again, I wish that the Beskar stacks were individuals and not just a hard plastic uh, stack of like 10 or whatever. Uh, but what are you going to do? And then the tracker, I think that, that was a great thing to include uh, as an accessory with this figure as well. And I'm glad that they didn't include a blaster because obviously the client didn't need a blaster. Anyways, uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about the figure, make sure to ask down below. If you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, like Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series, but we also do other things as well, like going to theme parks, such as Galaxy's Edge at Hollywood Studios, uh, but we also do other things as well, like gaming, home automation, electronics, basically anything a professional geek might find interesting. So if any of that is of interest to you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please like the video. And with that, have a great day.